How's it going everybody? Rev here. Look today, I just wanted to take you through the thought process that I go through when setting up a Facebook campaign for the first time. Now this varies from obviously our consulting business to our different e-commerce brands to obviously the clients' campaigns that we manage. It's the same process every single time. And I guess one of the big mistakes I'm seeing a lot of business owners make through no fault of their own, because you don't know any different, is you'll go through and you'll set up a campaign, you choose your objective, which isn't wrong, You'll select an audience that seems correct and you'll create an ad. Now that's not wrong, but there's just so much more depth and breadth to creating a really super profitable Facebook campaign. And I'll explain it right here. If we just draw your attention down to the paper really quick, this is what most people are doing. They'll set up their campaign, choose their objective, they'll choose their target audience, and then they will create their ad. Now that's not wrong, as I mentioned. However, there's a lot more in-depth kind of specifics that go into this. You know, how do we know that this audience is even interested in your ad, not your product yet, but how do we know that they're interested in your ad? Is your ad uh, compelling enough? Is it engaging? Is it using cool imagery? Is it just uh, you know enlisting someone to click on it and take the next step, whatever that step is? You don't actually know, and that's why you want to test variables of different ads. So that's tip number one, essentially. Now, the correct way to do it would be to select your campaign, choose your audience, number one, that makes the most sense, and then create your ads. Now, I'm a big fan of creating at least three ads for a test. Uh, and you can go to my Facebook group, I want to learn FB ads, uh, and that's gonna show you how I set up this particular structure. However, where we take it to the next level is start to think about are there particular audiences, are there particular niches, target audiences, avatars, whatever you wanna call them, that may be interested in my product or service for a particular reason as opposed to others. A perfect example, right, is uh, with our online pet brand, is we offer a pet playpen. That's a bit of alliteration for a Friday. Uh, but we offer a pet playpen. Now, I was targeting pretty much just dog owners or people interested in dogs online in that uh, Facebook interest targeting. Then what I noticed is this pet playpen could also be used for camping. So that was now audience number two. And then I created an ad that was specifically talking about the benefits for taking this pet playpen camping. So you can see there's a bit of a difference here. So I can advertise and create an ad saying, hey, your dog's gonna love this pet playpen. Uh, it's gonna keep it safe. It's gonna stop it from running around doing zoomies all night on your wooden floor, so on and so forth. But it's a totally different style of message uh, when compared to someone who wants to take this pet playpen uh, camping. So there's different sort of features and functions with that. It's the fact that instead of tying up your dog, you can put it in this playpen and it's going to be fine and it's gonna have plenty of room to move around. There's a different uh, kind of reason that someone would wanna buy that product. And that's the kind of thought process that we go through almost immediately with every single client and every single one of the campaigns that we set up. Now the really cool thing that you can take away from this is simply the fact that you can sit down, brainstorm with yourself or your internal team about different target audiences or niches or avatars, whatever you want to call them, that you can target and a marketing message that is congruent to that target audience. So it would look like we have audience number one and they may be interested in my service or product for this reason. We'll call it this number one. Then, also a great idea, we have audience number two which is interested in our product or service for this reason, number two. You can see where I'm going with it. And then you simply go through and you create variations of the ad that is speaking directly to this audience. So look, I hope that helps you out. If you'd like some more uh, feedback or if you want some help putting this all together, let me know, I'm happy to help or comment below and I'll give you some help where I can when I get around to it. And I'll uh, talk to you soon, see you later.